Is your sex life as satisfying as you'd like it to be? A provocative question indeed, but it's one that we're going to delve into today. We're not talking about sensationalized Hollywood portrayals, but rather, we're looking at this from a scientific perspective. What does research tell us about what constitutes a satisfying sexual relationship? So if you're curious to know what science has to say about achieving a fulfilling sex life, you're in the right place. Keep watching to uncover the secrets of a fulfilling sex life. Let's dive in. What does a good sex life even mean? It's a question that's been asked for centuries, and the answer isn't as simple as you might think. Scientists and psychologists have spent years studying this complex aspect of human nature. They've found that a good sex life isn't just about the frequency or intensity of sexual encounters, but about a myriad of factors that work in harmony. Firstly, satisfaction. This is subjective and varies greatly among individuals. For some, it's about the emotional connection they share with their partner. For others, it's about achieving physical pleasure. A study published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine found that satisfaction was strongly linked to a positive sexual self-concept and a healthy body image. Secondly, frequency. While it's a common myth that more sex equals a better sex life, research tells a different story. A study in the Social Psychological and Personality Science Journal found that there's no significant increase in relationship satisfaction after having sex more than once a week. Next up, communication. Open and honest communication about desires, boundaries, and concerns is a cornerstone of a good sex life. The American Association of Sexuality Educators, Counselors, and Therapists emphasizes that communication can lead to greater sexual satisfaction and a healthier relationship overall. Lastly, mutual consent. This is, without a doubt, the most important factor. Consent should be enthusiastic, informed, and ongoing. It's the foundation on which all other aspects of a good sex life are built. So, a good sex life is about more than just frequency or intensity. It's about satisfaction, communication, and consent. Now, let's talk about satisfaction. How do we measure it and why is it important? Just as every song needs a rhythm, every good sex life needs satisfaction. It's the pulse that keeps the relationship alive and well. But how do we measure it? Well, satisfaction is a deeply personal and subjective experience. It's not something you can quantify on a scale of 1 to 10. It's about feeling content and fulfilled, both emotionally and physically. Perhaps the most straightforward way to gauge satisfaction is through open, honest communication. It's about asking and answering questions like, how did that make you feel? Or what can we do to improve our experience? Satisfaction is crucial because it's intertwined with happiness and well-being. It fosters intimacy, boosts self-esteem, and strengthens the bond between partners. It's the secret ingredient that takes a good sex life and makes it great. Satisfaction then is a key element of a fulfilling sex life. Next up, communication. What role does it play in our sex lives? Let's dive right in. Communication is like the secret sauce that adds flavor to a sexual relationship. It's the bridge that connects two individuals, allowing them to share their desires, establish boundaries, and voice any concerns. Without this bridge, the journey can be confusing, unsatisfactory, even distressing. Imagine a scenario where you're navigating a maze blindfolded. Without any guidance, you'd likely stumble, hit dead ends, and feel frustrated. Now picture the same maze, but this time, you have someone guiding you, pointing out turns and obstacles. That's what communication does in a sexual relationship. It provides clarity, direction, and understanding, making the journey enjoyable and satisfying. Talking about desires, for instance, can ignite passion and intimacy. It allows couples to explore new dimensions of their relationship, keeping the flame alive. Boundaries, on the other hand, ensure respect and comfort. They set the stage for a safe and enjoyable experience, where no one feels pressured or uncomfortable. Discussing concerns is equally crucial. It ensures that both parties are on the same page, fostering trust and empathy. Communication, however, should not be a one-time thing. It should be ongoing, evolving with the relationship. It's not just about speaking, but also about listening, understanding, and responding. Clear and open communication, then, can greatly enhance our sex lives. Finally, let's discuss consent. Why is it so vital in a sexual relationship? Well, the answer is straightforward, but it's worth repeating. Consent is the bedrock of any sexual relationship. It's not just about saying yes or no, it's about understanding and respecting your partner's boundaries, desires, and comfort levels. It's also about communication. Consent is an ongoing conversation, not a one-time agreement. It can be withdrawn at any time and for any reason. 
It's about making sure both parties are comfortable and happy with what's happening. In a good sex life, consent isn't seen as an obstacle or a mood killer. It's part and parcel of the experience. It's a shared understanding that ensures safety, respect, and mutual satisfaction. Remember, a sexual relationship without consent isn't just unhealthy, it's illegal. So let's put it in clear terms. Without consent, a sexual relationship can't truly be satisfying or healthy. Let's recap what we've learned today. We started our journey by asking ourselves a provocative question, what does a good sex life look like? And we found that it's not just about the physical act, but it's about a lot more. We dived into the concept of satisfaction, understanding that it's not just about reaching a climax, but about the journey. A good sex life is one where both partners feel satisfied, where there's a sense of mutual pleasure and fulfillment. Then we moved on to communication. We established that a good sex life requires open and honest dialogue. It's about expressing your desires, your fears, your boundaries, and your love. It's about understanding that your partner is not a mind reader and that communication is the key to understanding each other's needs and wants. And finally, we emphasize the importance of consent. That a good sex life is one where both partners enthusiastically agree to every act, where there's a mutual respect for each other's boundaries and comfort levels. In essence, a good sex life is a symphony, a harmonious blend of satisfaction, communication, and consent. It's about understanding that sex is not just a physical act, but a form of intimate communication between two people who care about each other's pleasure and well-being. Remember, a good sex life is about more than just the physical act. It's about satisfaction, communication, and mutual consent. Keep these things in mind and you're on your way to a more fulfilling sex life.